One of the biggest questions we have when we sell these Casper CPR mannequins is how do we change the lungs? Now we've just come up with a nice quick easy way. So we're just going to show you uh, a quick easy way of changing lungs uh, in between your students. First off is this cover. You need to remove the cover. Um, this just holds the foam in, in place. Once you've removed the cover, you can take the foam pad out. So you just leave that out just for now. Now, the next thing you need is a coat hanger. Now these coat hangers are just a really cheap, thin coat hangers. Um, we get these from local dry cleaners. All you need to do is cut off the main hook part that goes over the clothes rail. On one end, just put a little folded loop so you can put your finger to pull through. And on this end, just fold it so there's a very small um, curve on it and then put tape around. Now it's important you put the tape around because you are gonna poke this inside the mannequin. You don't want a loose end to be catching on the mannequin which could potentially damage it. So next thing is to look at the lung bag. The lung bag itself is a plastic bag. Uh, on the one end it's sealed and the other end it's open. So we need to make sure we put it in the right way because we want the open end by the nose. So the very first thing you do is just take the small end you've made on the coat hanger, insert it up the nose. If you squeeze the nose to the side, uh, to pinch the nose, you'll actually open it up more. Once that's done, the coat hanger will come through at this end. Then take the bag itself, fold it over just a few times, just to make sure you're not putting a twist in it. That's one problem you'll have when you're using them with the students. If you have a twist in it, the air's not gonna go in. And then just take the open end through the loop, just catch it back just a small amount. And then simply from there, you just pull it. And just pull it so that the plastic bag just comes out the end. Once you've got that through, just pull it back a little bit to make sure that uh, the bag is clear. And if you have got a twist in it, you can just lift, literally pull it backwards and forwards. That will take the twist out. Pop the plastic inside, push the foam back in place, take the plastic cover, and then insert that back. So just clip it in at the back, and you put your finger in the holes here. You can open it up, put one corner, and then the other corner in, and that will just clip in place. And at this end, we need to just fold that back. So then we're going to open up the plastic bag. We're going to pull that back over the tongue and over the nose of the mannequin. So from here, we can still pull the tongue out to one side to simulate opening the airway. We've got a complete barrier around the nose of the mannequin, and then it's easy to blow the air in, and then you can see the chest rising and falling. Now, final thing with these is, if you actually put these into the mannequin for your students, that's fine, but try and get in the habit of getting your students to remove them. And if you get them just to remove the mannequin here, and if they just pull out the bag, and then they can tie a knot in it, and then your students can take those and pop them straight into the bin, so you're not messing around with any uh, plastic bags which have got uh, any of their saliva on it. Finally, if you need to buy a mannequin or any of these mannequins for your classes, if you get in touch with us, you can see them on firstaidonline.co.uk or give us a call on 01206 805 380.